TP-Link RT, uh, TP-Link R42M is the RTL8196C chip, uh, SPI. Uh, a lot of people ask to support this kind of router, and recently I got one router and decided to post a video how to program it. Uh, actually, the support was done a few years ago, but we never officially announced support it because we didn't have a, a router to a, a commercially available router at that time. Now, quite a few routers use um, this chip and SPI. Some of them are, are, are very powerful with 4 meg or even 8 meg flash. This router itself is a uh, very small uh, flash. It's only 512K. Um, but it's a, it's a powerful device. You can do some interesting thing. If you replace the flash, you replace the RAM, probably it can be very powerful Linux, uh, embedded Linux for you. So if you router is, your router is bricked or you have empty flash as a developer, um, how to program it. So here I'm showing you how to do this. So if you have a, a true router and you want to play with it, the very first thing to do is to make a good backup. So let's see, uh, we select the all flash and we make a backup. We, you can see the splash is only 512K and read back is only about two seconds. So let's back up and done. So let's say I want to program uh, a stocked firmware from the manufacturer website and this is the one. Um, the one that from the website has a header, so you need to remove it if you want to decide to use JTAG. If you use the the firmware from the web, you have to use that image. But this image uh, was programmed by the JTAG, so you, you only need to uh, take out the headers. So here, just to type W. Um, by the way, this device cannot do uh, the regular t MIPS trap on mode yet. So. I haven't implemented that one, so you use the DMA, which is good enough. So the program the entire flash takes about three seconds here. Um, you can do the verification here, and it's done. So program to a stock firmware. Now I, I'm going to show you a, a truly brick router. Let's say I erase it, the entire flash. So the flash is erased. And I'm going to amplify here just to make sure this is erased. So check it's it's let's power off. Okay, and I'm plug USB. <clears throat> so now power on the router and do the work. Something's not right, so let's unplug the USB again. So now you see, we cannot detect flash anymore. So this CPU is in some mode, it cannot detect flash because um, you can do this like tap C, tap A. Normally, you would put the chip into debug arm mode, but this one does not take you to anything. But you can detect flash this way. That means you can go to the proper uh, programming mode. So this flash is, is empty. Let's double check it's empty. But you want to revive it, debrick it. So put the firmware and let's program it. And only takes four or five seconds. This router entire program is done and the router actually is back to life. So you can see with the USB JTAG NT it's quite easy to um, re revive a router. In the meantime though it's easy to break it because if you do something wrong you can break the router easily but in the, also it's it's very easy to de-break it. Um, uh, that's it. Hope you like it and if you have any comments, you know, um,
opposed to here. If you have other um, requests, other routers would like to us to support, and you know, send me an email or shoot shoot the message here. Bye.